everyone welcome back to my channel this is just a short video to answer the question enough ba ang liwanag lang para mag harvest or mag work ang ating mga panas isa sa mga nagustuhan ko sa solis inverter is meron silang solis cloud application kung saan i can view real time data and status ng mga equipment na nakakonect sa ating inverter since it is an app i can view it anytime anywhere so this is the power flow section ng solis cloud app this is the pv and it shows how much na ang harvest natin that day and the grid is ito yung maralco usage natin the grid load is the actual physical load that we are currently using. And also, we have the backup load, the battery, sad battery, makikita nyo dito yung SOC, yung state of charge ng ating battery. Lastly, the one in the middle is the inverter. Let us focus on the PV. Dito natin kukunin lahat ng data that will support my answers to the question, Enough ba ang liwanag lang para makaharvest ang ating panel? And the best time to do this is during sunrise. Yung pasikat pa lang ang araw. This is the definition of may liwanag na pero hindi pa totally lumalabas ang araw. Ang sunrise today, July 16, ay 5.35. When I looked up in the sky, medyo paliwanag pa talaga. And just by looking at my app, wala pa talaga na harvest ang ating panel. So I gave it mga 5 to 10 more minutes before I record. And here it is at exactly 5.41 a.m. Wala pang na harvest ang ating panel. If you will see in the background video, cloudy today and ang forecast is hindi masyadong maigay. After an hour, nag-record ulit ako to see if our panel is harvesting or not. By this time sa video, medyo mas maliwanag ang kalangitan pero hindi pa rin totally lumalabas ang araw. The result ng harvest at this time at exactly 6.34 a.m. is 0.31 kilowatt. I will show you the same format and recordings for the next 6 days and then from there we will find out the answer to the question. Tama ang forecast today, may light rain umulan ng hapon at exactly 2.48 p.m. I was able to record it. So, tingnan natin kung nag-harvest din ba ang ating panels kapag may ulan. So, at this time, makulimlim ang ating kalangitan. At this time, nakapag-harvest pa rin ang ating mga panels ng 0.207 kW.
So here is a summary of our recordings for 5 days starting July 16 to July 21. Almost the same ang sunrise time niya for each day. So this is the time of the first recording and its value. And ito yung time of the second recording. So balikan natin yung tanong kung enough ba ang liwanag lang para makapag-harvest ng ating panel. If ang question is specific sa oras, let's say during the time of sunrise, the answer is no. Yeah, before kayo mag-react, let me explain further. Look at the time of our first recording ng July 16, 17, 18, and 21. That was about 6 to 8 minutes after the sunrise time. And it shows zero harvest. But if you look closely at July 19, after 14 minutes, nag-start na siyang mag-harvest. So, ito yung mga data na binigay ng Solis Cloud app. So, from the time of sunrise, then after 5 minutes, hindi talaga siya nag-harvest. Now, the next question is, what exactly ang time na nag-harvest ang panel? For sure, ang exact time ng harvesting ng ating mga panels ay in between those two recordings. By the way, ang panels natin, ang brand niya ay Jinko. So let's go back to our Solis Cloud app to show you the exact time ng harvesting ng ating panels. I will go back to July 16. And then we have to set the parameters since PV lang ang kailangan natin. Let's remove backup load, grid load, SOC, battery, and grid. This is July 16 graph. Zoom lang natin. The lower part shows the time. And on your left side is the kilowatt. By hovering your mouse, makikita nyo na kung anong oras at how much ang harvest ng ating mga panels. So for July 16, nag-start siyang mag-harvest ng 5.50 a.m. And this is for July 17, 18, 19, and 21. So from these data, nag-start mag-harvest ang ating mga panels as early as 5.40 in the morning. To summarize it all, based on the data given to us by Solis Cloud app, our Zinco panels doesn't start harvesting if ang basis is yung sunrise time. Let's give it at least mga 5 to 15 minutes bago siya mag-harvest. Malaki ang factor ng weather sa changes ng mga result. During the week of my recording, most of the time, cloudy and rainy. So yung 5 minutes difference is really short. And I think our panels can actually harvest even at the time of sunrise during summer days. Even during rainy days. July 17, umulan nun, pero meron pa rin tayong na-record. But of course, the number that we are getting here, ito yung indirect sunlight. The number we're getting from the indirect sunlight is very small compared to the direct sunlight. So, Ang mga panels will work on cloudy days or rainy days. And actually, it can work better when it's not too hot. Because we all know that solar panels work by absorbing the light from the sun and not the heat from the sun. So, I will give it a yes. Basta may liwana, kayang mag harvest ng ating panels. So, that's the end of our video. But before I end this one, I've always wanted to know. Since solar panels can harvest from sunlight, whether direct or indirect, what about moonlight? So, nag-google ulit ako, hinanap ko kung kailan ba ang may moonlight here in Metro Manila. So, it shows here the first quarter yung July 14, and then the next one is July 21. So, tamang-tama, July 21, hinintay ko siya. But unfortunately, hindi ako nakapag-record dahil umuulan ng oras na yan, and at the same time, may maintenance na ginawa sa bahay. So, what I'm going to show you is yung July 14. Normally, nag-stop ang harvest ng aming panels ng around 6, 6.30, pinaka-late na yung 7. And here, makikita nyo from 6 hanggang mga 9.30 p.m., meron siyang recording. So, it shows here na kahit maliit lang yung number, nag-harvest siya. And I'm not sure if this little amount can even power a light. Hmm. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.